getting into fishing and want to know what's the best way to do it or even what you should be using don't worry let's get you to guru fishing and making millions of silver Hey guys, it's Teddy, and today is going to be an easy guide since it can be done at beginner 1 and you can do it AFK. But I want to show you how to get up to master 1 and making some silver while doing it. Stay until the end to find out how I do Megoria fishing to make millions of silver. And as always, if you enjoy this guide, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those notifications so you know when I upload another guide. With all of that out of the way, let's get into fishing. Fishing can be done either AFK or actively inland and in the ocean. You can use energy per cast, but using zero energy gives the same as using 10 energy per cast. Comment down below if you see a difference or not, because I really don't. You can choose which rank of fish you want to discard during auto fishing by your fishing level. Professional 1 lets you discard white and green, Artisan 1 white, green, and blue, and Master 1 lets you discard white, green, blue, and yellow. What this means is depending on the color you choose, you get to keep that color and above. Selecting none allows you to catch everything, while selecting yellow allows you to catch yellow, relics, and red braid fish. As you level up, your choices of rods are increased and you unlock special lures. Heading over to Creo and Velia will allow you to buy your first fishing rod and get you started. He also has fishing quests you can do to earn fish paste to increase fishing level, and you can exchange your trash items for rewards here. Now, what's that fishing level in mastery? Your fishing level decreases the time it takes for your fish to bite and is capped at plus five, so anything else after doesn't really matter. This could be increased by joining a guild with a plus one to three fishing buff. The silver embroidered fisher's clothes increases it by one, each enhancement level. The life spirit stone increases it by two. Seafood's cron meal increases it, much like mastery. And finally, mana's fishing clothes increases fishing. Your mastery determines your prize fish catches, which are newly added red grade fish and relic shards. Wearing your new life skill and clothes and accessories such as Logia, Creo, and Manos Fisher's clothes, Seafood's Kron's meal, and Creo's fishing chair will increase mastery. Let's get down to the different rods and lures you can get. When you first start fishing, you're given an old rod and can buy a normal fishing rod, which has more durability. Once you hit beginner 10, you're able to buy the thick fishing rod, which increases your fishing level by one. The Balanos fishing rod can be used at beginner one and reduces fishing time. This can be either crafted or bought from the central marketplace and can be enhanced to plus 10. The Eutheria fishing rod can be used at beginner one too and has increased durability, which can also be enhanced to plus 10. Lastly, the Tumayan fishing rod can also be used at beginner 1 and comes with fishing level plus 5. Chance to catch rare fish and big fish by plus 10%, but cannot be repaired nor enhanced. You can obtain this rod from the quest Daughters of the Great Alchemist from Ablin and sometimes from login bonuses. This rod can only be attained once on your character, so I suggest using this during active fishing. When you hit skilled 5, you unlock the steel fishing rod, which can be crafted or bought from the central marketplace, and it has fishing level 2, but cannot be repaired nor enhanced. Finally, at skilled 5, you unlock the triple float fishing rod, which allows you to catch 1 to 3 of the same fish at the same time, with a rare chance of catching 4. This could be obtained from the weekly repeatable quest, a special fishing rod from Ablin, every week. It cannot be enhanced nor repaired, and I highly recommend using this during active pool fishing. At professional 1, you unlock the Calpheon fishing rod, which can be crafted or bought. It increases the chance to catch big fish by 1% per enhancement level and can be repaired. This rod is great for gaining knowledge ranks for big fish and allows you to catch certain fish in the ocean that are classified as big and not rare. You also unlock the ash float which can be crafted or bought and also increases the chance of big fish by 1% per enhancement level. This lore can be enhanced and repaired. Also at professional 5 you can craft or buy the golden fishing rod that increases fishing level by 3 but cannot be repaired or enhanced. At Professional 5, if you have a friend, you can unlock the thick and thin harpoons for deep sea fishing. These cannot be repaired nor enhanced and can be bought and or crafted. Finally, at Artisan 1, you unlock the Medea fishing rod that increases catching rare fish by 1% per enhancement level. And much like the ash float, you unlock the maple lore, which does the same as the Medea rod and can be repaired and enhanced. 
So, where should you fish? You have a choice here, AFK fishing, active fishing, hotspot fishing, and deep sea fishing. Each can be done early, and how well you do is determined by what you're skilled for. Note, deep sea fishing requires someone to steer the boat and one to be using the harpoon. AFK fishing can be done anywhere there is water. Simply walk up to it and cast your rod in. As an added bonus, each major town has a hotspot. Just look for all the players that are huddled up and reap your bonuses. These hotspots have certain yellow grade and new red grade fish. So those lures and special rods will work here. Just be aware, most of these pools are exhausted. Once you cast your rod, just simply minimize and or walk away from the computer. You are now fishing until your rod breaks or you fill up your inventory space. Active fishing can be done also at any water and requires you to play a little mini game to catch the fish. Note, hitting the spacebar and getting a perfect will allow you to bypass the second part of the mini game. If not, you will have to go ahead and input those little directions. Once you hit the correct directions, go ahead and collect your fish. Hotspot fishing can be done at certain pools in the ocean indicated by the seagulls flying above. These pools show up more the higher your fishing skill and provide no trash. Keep in mind, these pools will despawn after a certain amount of time and new pools will spawn elsewhere. Coelacanth and the golden coelacanth pools despawn as soon as you cast your rods in, so I suggest using a triple float rod to go ahead and catch as many as you can. Like stated before, deep sea fishing requires you to have someone steering your boat while you have your harpoon equipped. When you find a fish, you have to play a little mini game that requires you to hit the fish to weaken it until you can catch the fish. Keep in mind, mastery does increase the prized fish you can catch from these pools. With all that said, you should be ready to start fishing and making so over. But what if you want to get the most from your fishing? Let me show you an advanced fishing setup to increase that amount of silver you can make into the millions. How I set up my fishing is simple, but requires a lot of silver and unfortunately some pearls. Getting started having max fishing rank will increase fishing speed. Try Mano's Fisher's Clothes increase fishing mastery by 220. Creo's fishing chair adds another 100. The plus 10 Balanos fishing rod will decrease the auto fishing time down by 25% and the plus 10 maple float will increase the rare fish by 11%. Branding them reduces the durability reduction by 60 and repair cost by 30% but costs 40 pearls each. The professional fisher's clothes from the luxury vendor made into a costume for 10% fishing experience and a plus 1 fishing level just in case you don't have that guild buff. Now any T4 life scaling pet with auto fishing reduction will reduce auto fishing by 20% and as an added bonus any pets with fishing experience plus 5% would increase the experience by a max of 25% and a max life scaling experience by 25%. Having Master 1 fishing and above unlocks all seagull hotspots that you can see in the ocean. Now you're going to either have to build or buy a Eupharia sailboat or frigate so you can travel at high speed and can repair the boat too. Skilled 1 sailing or above so you can unlock that breezy sail skill for your boat to increase sailing speed out in the ocean. Triple float rods for those pools or active fishing in Megoria. And 192 inventory slots is ideal but can be a little costly. 16 slots cost 1,450 pearls while one slot cost 150 pearls. And finally, Artisan 2 trading for that desert trading buff to trade your fish to Valencia. Click the link in the corner if you need a guide on how to get that trading buff. Now for the buffs I use, the value pack is standard, Kama's Blessing for a plus 2 energy recovery, and finally the secret book of the old moon for that plus 50 life experience. As for fishing, heading out to the Megoria Sea and fishing there will give you 150% distance when trading to Valencia, and if the artisan trade buff is active, the amount is increased by another 100%. If ocean fishing is not your thing, you can still AFK fish in Kamasovia for a lesser distance bonus, but still more so than just fishing anywhere else on land. You can also do this in Dragon for an added little distance bonus over regular AFK fishing anywhere else too. 
I hope that this guide helped you get a start on fishing, and as always, if this guide helped, be sure to grab your fishing rod, sit down with your Creo fishing chair, and cast that maple lure into that like button. May your AFK fishing be plenty, and your active fishing net you tons of silver. And as always, I shall see you guys in another Black Desert online guide.